Hey guys, welcome to Testing Universe. As part of our Selenium Exceptions and Error series, in this video, we are going to resolve illegal state exception. So let us first understand what is this illegal state exception, when we are going to get this particular exception and how to resolve this particular exception. So we'll be getting illegal state exception in all these different five scenarios. Right. So we are going to get this particular illegal state exception if we don't specify our driver executable path, you know, correctly. OK. Or if we don't specify that particular syntax correctly, we are going to get that particular exception. So these are the different scenarios. If we don't set the driver system property, if we don't specify the system property code at correct location if we don't specify complete path of the driver if we don't provide dot exe extension for the driver if we give wrong key value in the system property okay so all these different five scenarios we are going to get that so we are going to see one by one uh, how exactly you know we will uh, get this exception we'll try to first reproduce this exception with all these different five scenarios and we'll try to resolve that let me go to my eclipse so if you are a fresher or if you are an experienced guy you would have encountered this exception multiple times and we'll be doing that that particular you know uh, a silly mistake i would say or it can be a, a small mistake even when uh, i was in my initial days of selenium i have done this mistake so as, as soon as uh, you know somebody will ask you to write the code or uh, when you are writing your automation suit you will directly go ahead and write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver it can be chrome or it can be firefox or it can be any other browser so i'm going to import org open qa, QA web driver and then even chrome driver okay and then once you initialize the driver driver dot get and i will be providing my url right so this is how we will you know start writing the code at the end when we try to execute this particular code let us see whether it is going to execute or not see it is not at all you know launching the browser it is just initialized and then when you try to get it it is not initializing the browser and it has thrown this particular exception which is called java dot lang dot illegal state exception so what exactly this says the path to the driver executable right the path to the driver executable must be set by the web driver dot chrome driver system property and for more information where exactly you will be getting that particular driver executable so you can go to this particular website so why do we need this driver executable we have already uh, you know known about that right we will be having client side libraries and if our code has to communicate with our browser you need to have either chrome driver or you know uh, firefox driver which is gecko driver or edge driver in between to communicate with our uh, browsers right for whatever code we are going to write so for that reason you need to have the driver executable which has to be set before executing or before initializing your chrome driver so this is where you can download your chrome driver so this is the you know uh, path for chrome driver and it comes with you know different uh, versions so what you can do you can go to help in your chrome driver and then you can verify the version of your chrome driver similarly if you are you know downloading gecko driver you can verify the version of your firefox driver and then download the specific version related or what whichever is compatible version is there that chrome driver you have to download once you download right uh, either you can put it in your uh, entire project path or you can put it anywhere and then this path has to be set so since it is saying you have to set the system property what i will do i am going to set the system property system dot set property and it specifies 
you have to use web driver dot chrome driver okay so this is the key for the system property and then the path of your executable the path of your executable which is chrome driver okay so i am mentioning dot forward slash and then drivers and chrome driver this is where dot means it is in the current project directory and drivers is the folder i have created and inside that i have chrome driver and i will be you know setting this particular system property when i run this again let us see it should you know work at this moment because it was giving the error so again it is giving this particular error the part to the driver executable uh, should be web driver dot chrome driver we have done that right we have done that but we have set it after initializing the chrome driver so this is the second point in our uh, this one if we don't set the driver system property that is the first point we are getting that exception if we don't specify the system property code at correct location what is the correct location first specify the driver uh, you know system property code and then you have to initialize the chrome driver first you have to spe specify the co uh, uh, system property code and you have to initialize the chrome driver right so this is the this is the you know uh, uh, flow you have to follow first chrome driver path and then you have to initialize the driver it can be chrome driver or it can be edge driver at the moment we are you know dealing with chrome driver that's why i am telling chrome driver it can be any driver so now i have set that so let us run this again it has not run at this time also it is giving illegal state exception the driver executable executable must exist see here the error is changed now the driver executable must exist so you have set the web driver dot chrome driver property but the driver executable is not found Ex executable is not found i have given chrome driver chrome driver is existing here chrome driver dot exe right but I have specified here Chrome driver so it should work right no you have to specify the extension of that particular driver executable this is only in Windows in Mac or in Linux you don't have to specify that so that is our if we don't specify the complete okay that is our provide the exe extension of the driver that is the fourth point if we don't specify exe then you are going to get this particular error message the driver executable must exist this is a different error message but it is also an illegal state exception okay so that's the fourth point the third point is if we don't specify complete path of the driver for example let us see instead of putting dot right if i simply don't mention the dot or by mistake instead of uh, instead of drivers i have mentioned driver and then chrome driver at this point also we are going to get illegal state exception let me run this again you can see here you are going to get the same exception the driver executable must exist exist right and it is giving this particular path it should exist but it is not existing so you if you, everything looks good here but at some point here you have mentioned driver instead of drivers okay so you should be very careful while providing the directory names and all and instead of uh, small d if we uh, provide capital d let's execute again let us see So it, this time it is taking. Okay, right, and that is the third point. If we don't specify complete path of the driver, okay, you are getting that. And if we give wrong key value in the system property, instead of small w, if we give capital W, 
you will again encounter illegal state exception you can see here the part to the driver executable right the part to the driver must set web driver dot chrome driver system property this is what it says web driver dot chrome driver you will go and see okay I have written web driver dot chrome driver but Java is case sensitive for that reason you should always specify right whatever is described by the property okay otherwise some some people will also make this mistake web driver dot chrome driver web driver dot chrome driver and then run it again you are going to encounter illegal state exception and you will get the same message web driver dot chrome driver either you can copy paste that okay so in all these different five scenarios you are going to get illegal state exception right so you should be very careful because what happens uh, this this is a you know plain script in one uh, uh, you know script only i'm showing it here but in when you write your you know entire framework right the initialization of the system property would have been done somewhere else and then you might be initializing the web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver somewhere or what happens you will have some init method you will have some init method and then you will be passing the browser you will be passing passing the browser details which browser it has to take right this is just an additional one when when we deal with frameworks the structure will be different and then if browser dot equals okay chrome then you will be writing driver is equal to new chrome driver you will forget to write system dot set property you will forget to write system dot set set property for the chrome driver in these situations you should be very careful you should go back to the original class and you should identify what went wrong so by looking at the exception you people should be able to understand you would have you know missed to specify the chrome driver so do we have any alternative over here yes we have the alternative we have in mvn repository we have a uh, you know maven uh, dependency that is web driver manager we have a maven dependency which is web driver manager and then take this particular web driver manager this is going to write uh, download the particular exe and then it is going to maintain it i have already you know kept that web driver manager dependency over here and then how will we initialize so the it, it is same again you have to initialize uh, you know the web driver uh, the chrome driver uh, path before mentioning the or before initializing the chrome driver so web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup this is going to you know download the latest version of the chrome driver and then it is going to maintain it you don't have to specify the path and then you are you know specifying the wrong path you are not specifying the exec exe all those different five scenarios right you can avoid by using web driver dot chrome driver dot set web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup but in few of the companies they may not uh, uh, you know allow this particular web driver manager so in those scenarios you should be very careful in handling the right path and all these different five scenarios i hope uh, this video is very informative for you guys if you like this video please follow us in all these different channels Thank you so much for watching.